And whose house view, David, has gotten, I would argue, incrementally more hawkish, and numbers like this sort of explain why. Uh, it certainly does, and unusually, the real rates have actually uh, moved down, which has then led to the equity market rallying about 7% or so in the last couple of weeks. And that would suggest to me that it's uh, overvalued or not overvalued, but perhaps more downside risk between now and the end of the year, and maybe modest return from now through uh, the end of next year. Right. Does this, now, a couple months ago, you had put out some charts looking at hard landing scenarios. Right. Does, does your odds of a hard landing increase on some data like this? Well, we think about it in the following way. The market this year has traded entirely as a function of rate market. Uh, as basically rates have risen, the equity market valuation has come down from like 21 times earnings the start of the year to around 16 times or so today. We have not yet seen any degradation, meaningful degradation, in the expected level of profits, if you look out between now and, uh, and sort of the uh, end of next year, 2023. And as a result of, that, result of that, Carl, I think the risk is that earnings come down. And in a hard landing scenario, you can see earnings fall perhaps 11 percent. Uh, our baseline forecast, which is not a recession, but you have the slowing economy, is maybe earnings grow modestly, very modestly, maybe 3 percent. And I think that is the key message that the idea of the uh, forecast and the direction of the equity market between now and the end of uh, this year and next year is really a function of earnings. Energy leading the S&P right now again today. It's up 26 percent to start the quarter. It's up 65 percent for the year. Is that still a place to put money to work right now or have the gains really already been realized? Well, I think there's uh, two reasons you want to continue to put money in the uh, energy sector. First, they're basically earning their way to higher profits, higher level of weighting in the equity market, and that would be one of the big reasons for, for that. Basically, they're better profits, because everywhere else we had disappointing results pretty much across the board in, uh, in the third quarter, which were pretty much uh, maybe 70 percent of the companies have reported earnings so far this year. So the idea of better profits, higher margins, it's only there. We have not seen it pretty much you know, any other sector. It's been very disappointing results in, uh, in the third quarter. We had margin compression across many, many sectors, particularly in some of the uh, technology, communication services area. So the energy, the idea of <clears throat> remain imbalance between uh, the supply and demand and the idea of companies returning cash to shareholders. So there's better profits and their uses of cash. Their prioritization of returning cash to shareholders through dividends and buybacks is, a, is an important distinguishment because in a slowing economic environment, companies that return cash to shareholders outperform.